uh, the young lad from Europe, what's his name? Cardiff Maembe. He, he, he could have done something in this tournament. I think this would have been the best platform. I think coming to the to the team, I think it really got me thinking this team by Michu. I think uh, I was trying to think, as Michu lost it as a coach, or maybe he's not as good as we thought he was at first. I think uh, one thing that... But at some point he thought like that. Yeah, I think <laughs> maybe I'm uh, yeah, still yeah, thinking like that. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> it's not as good as we would have thought it may be, and uh, maybe in uh, on uh, I would uh, maybe think uh, maybe because his transition from coaching club teams to the national team, I think he's lost the touch because he was at the national team, then he went to clubs, then back to the national team, maybe he lost his touch during that transition because when you're at the club, it's, you deal with these players every day. But at the national team, you, are, you have got just maybe after every three months, that's when you get the opportunity to improve the people in, in front of you. I think a uh, surprising inclusion, I think, is Zakaria Chilongosh. What is Zakaria Chilongosh doing in this team? When did you see Zakaria Chilongosh play in Super League? Terrible, terrible. I think he's terrible, been watching Kawhi Warriors play uh, in, in Kawhi. Why is Zakaria Chilongosh part of this team? He's actually He's rumored to back, be yeah. going to prison on Europeans. I think they have had maybe an agreement with Paul Danamos. He hasn't been playing any football. But it's part of this uh, this setup. I think is the only inclusion that I would question. I think I've been impressed with a couple of um, uh, call-ups like uh, Rodrik Kembo. I think to me very very impressive defender. Beauty Coney came through. I think how we halfway through the season, and he's been a present feature in that uh, Beauty Coney setup. And uh, Gian Jimmy Muke, I think uh, he deserves, he the, deserves call. the call up uh, with what he has done with Napsa Stars. I think he tried his best to help Napsa Stars stay up, but uh, it has been very very difficult. We've got a call on the line. Now. Good morning. You are through to off the pitch. Hello, good morning. You are through to off the pitch. Augustine on the line. Who am I speaking to? Hello. Hello, morning. morning sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay. I'm here. Okay. Your name and where you are calling us from? I'm from Tampicia. I'm calling you from Toronto. Oh, okay. You can go ahead with your contribution. Yeah, I think for me, I'm happy. Uh -huh. But my problem is, I don't, I don't, I don't know whether it's going to be the 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 decision. Because at first when he was told, he 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 was told, he was told that he declined the the call. He was interested to join the Zambian squad. So oh. we don't know whether at this point around him, uh, Mitch has tried to convince him so that he got a, a, a quad. Okay. And again, uh, to me, I think there is the, uh, two players that the, I feel uh, to committed and, and, and I feel that he's supposed to be among the, 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 the squad. Okay. This is Warren Kunda from uh, Green People. Uh -huh. That's the thing that to me, uh, I don't know why. Up to now, we have not been caught in the middle of the field. The other one, the other player, I think, is from Kibra, from Kana, came in Malone. He has been understanding from the time the, the time the time belongs to Kibra and Anki. I think he has left in Kana to, 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 to where they are where they are now. Okay. And the damage to the dedicated zone for between in Kana and... And... and, and <laughs> Uh, even the green eagles, uh, young green eagles, I think, because both young green eagles are the dangerous on the one point. Uh -huh. And I, 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 I have a feeling that we are young green eagles who join the last of the one and two and I think. And then in Ghana will survive. Yes, I, I have a feeling in Ghana surviving because there is there's no time for last of the stars in Ghana. Okay, thank, okay, you, thank you very much for coming through. I think uh, just to, to add on to what I uh, said, I think the two players that you mentioned, I think uh, Warren Kunda, I think uh, I don't think he's a uh, national team material. If I have to be honest, he's good for the league, but he's not national team material. But the Ghana goalkeeper, I think, uh, to me, deserves to be part of this setup. Uh, I think he's been very, very good. And uh, one player who I felt would have should have been part of this team is uh, Steven Mutama of Nkwazi Football Club. I think he's been one of the best midfielders in the league, but he's He's continued to be overlooked. I think we've got 
uh, we've had uh, players who haven't even been performing very very well like Zekaya Shongosh but they are part of the team I think uh, Steven Mutama would have been a very very good uh, inclusion and uh, going back to Kennedy Mwene why is Kennedy Mwene part of this tournament I think this is the right thing which we are about to do now to pass on the button I think by Kennedy Mwene I think it's something which we jumped that uh, that phase I think it had to be a transition where Kennedy Mwene passes it on to the next uh, first choice goalkeeper because experience you cannot buy experience I think that's that's one thing and uh, Kennedy when he comes in with a lot of experience he will organize that defense which has been leaking in goals he won't ma- he won't make those classic saves but he will organize that defense which has been leaking in goals and uh, if you look at Mitchell he's trying to connect the fans with the national team because to truth be told the national team has lost touch with the fans people even would be surprised oh can't see some biacha I think there's such, such situations I think because we've lost it because with the the results that we've get, been getting the performance that we've been getting and Mitch what Mitch is trying to do he's trying to get all his guns and try and win this Kosovo Cup so that he can have that connection back with the fans because it hasn't been pretty truth be told I think in previous years, Zambia were losing games, but they were playing at least beautiful football. But if you look at the current uh, team, I think it's not playing very good football. Let's just pick this call before I come to Uncle Rapson. Hello? Hello, good morning. Come again? Hello? Oh, okay, you also can... Easy. Ah, we've lost that call. Uh, we've got a comment here, but that's from Daniel. He's saying um, it's a good call by Coach Michu. At it's a good move by Coach Michu. Uh, we're calling back Kennedy Mwene back in the squad because it's been a while since he was being called to the team. Some are saying it's a good move. Some are saying it's, it's, a, it's, a, ah. it's a perfect move. Wrong tournament, perfect move. Why do I say so? Is uh, this is a squad that should be qualifying for World, World Cup, but you are taking them to a tournament of this magnitude. But on the other hand, I think I've been a critic of Michu for quite a bit now, but I think on the other hand, just after an afterthought of, uh, of what we've been discussing, I think this is a time where I can sit back and say, Michu has done what he needed to do. He has made all the types of experiments he wanted. What's At the end next? of the day, he hasn't found what he wanted. So now he has gone back to the drawing board. I wanted to go with young goalkeepers, young goalkeepers have failed him. He wanted to go with a new team, the new team has failed him. Now he has gone back to the same veterans that he sidelined in the beginning and uh, hopefully now is the time when he's going to be blending because between the old and the new and like uh, Augustine has said, this is the time where now the, the, the butter needs to be given gradually to these young goalkeepers. Even you, if, if you look at uh, Grigory Sanjase, that young goalkeeper, brilliant goalkeeper, and Lamek from Cabo Warriors, if those players are given an opportunity to mingle in the same team with Kennedy Mwene, the amount of experience, the amount of lessons they will learn from that guy is enormous, and the only uh, beneficiary will be the country itself. So we need that kind of player to motivate these players. This is the same thing that, if you recall, in 2012, White in Tukampamba joined the Africa uh, Cup squad. It was purely for motivation. Let's just speak this call, Hello? Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name and where you are calling us from? Okay, this is not calling from Jennifer. Oh, okay. You can go ahead with your contribution. Uh, I think it's a nice call that you can make the morning. You can make the morning. It's very exciting as it is. Thank you for Zambia and the team for a long time. Ah, thank you very much for coming through. Right, okay. Anyway, Augustine, just a quick one. Looking at time before we touch on other things, just a minute. Oh, Uncle Rapson, conclude in a minute. <laughs> so that we. <laughs> uh, okay, well, yeah, but I, like I was thinking about, I think about the squad. I think 
mutual has gone back to the correct position that he should have started with and uh, we can only hope that this upcoming tournament blends in well with the World Cup qualifiers that will uh, soon be coming up. But I think the critical thing that we need to discuss in the last few minutes of the show is basically the two slots that are still pending in the future. <laughs> and just, when just, you look just, at um, the the clubs that we that, that, that are chasing for those two slots, I think our concentration now will be on Red Arrows, uh, Green Eagles, Lusaka no, Dynamos, <coughs> Prison Leopards, and Cabo Warriors. Very, very tight, I must confess. And uh, Prison Leopards, they also have a very, very high mathematical chance. If, 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 if uh, Red Arrows can drop points against Zanako, and Prison Leopards manages to beat uh, Green uh, Buffaloes tomorrow, they'll find themselves in continental football. Three weeks, is it two weeks? About three weeks ago, they were at the verge of going into relegation. Three weeks later, they are looking for that continental <laughs> spot. Things can change very, very easily. Uh, but when you look at that game against, Cabo, against uh, Prison Leopards versus uh, Green Buffaloes, it will be very, very tight. Buffaloes also want to go out with pride. I think just, yeah, Justin Chinama has been boosted by the coming of uh, one Nathan Simkara who's been training with the squad. Uh, I know he's not eligible to play, but just providing motivation. That motivation. And uh, the second top scorer in the league, Friday Sam, is also uh, probably wanting to surpass Moses Piri on top of that log to get the golden boot. Very, very interesting fixture. It will be tomorrow at uh, Coloma Stadium. And uh, I think uh, credit must be given to to coach uh, Albert Kaching. I think he, he did this with Red Arrows, I think in 2014. Red Arrows in that relegation zone came and he helped them stay up on the final day beating Zanako by focus to New and Coloma Stadium. He's done it again at Prison Lopez. I think when Balangi took over, it looked like uh, it was a disaster in the making. Prison Lopez were destined for the drop, but he's helped them stay up. I think these are coaches who shall not given enough credit, I think uh, we must mention he's, he's done a fantastic job. It's not easy to try and galvanize a group of players who have lost confidence, uh, but he's done that two times now and he's helped the team stay up and uh, going into the final day of the season ish. Tricky, tricky games. I think uh, Red Arrows, Zanako, a very, very spicy encounter. Ended 1-1 at Goloma Stadium in the reverse fixture. If it ends like that, it will be enough to see the airmen book that for, uh, that continental slot. Uh, Cow Warriors, they messed it up in the transition uh, in 2019 against Red Arrows. Will they do the, the same thing this time around? The game was, was said to be moved to the President Stadium, but it's now back at the uh, where, where, where they are comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting encounter. Uh, in yeah, and Kwasi have that got an outside chance. It. I've got an outside chance. They don't have a very good good difference, but if results go their way, I think they may just uh, get into that top four. But uh, it's tricky for them. All right, let's a quick one. Let's just look at. We saw the Euro going into the round of 16 and Rapson, and we saw some interesting uh, matches being put across. If we can just have a display before we just close the show on the games that are supposed to be played, that's the round of 16 and <laughs> Rapson. That's the last 16. The, the, the only normal game there, the only normal game which you can outrightly believe that it will end the way it should is the Italy game. Italy versus uh, Austria, Austria is the easiest <laughs> game in the last round of 16. The rest are very, very unpredictable. I've seen the inconsistency of France and the uh, a very, very disappointing. They had a very, very good start to the season and uh, the concurrent games that they had, I didn't see that zeal in them as, as world champions. I didn't see that in them really. And uh, meeting Switzerland, mm -hmm. a very tough call. It's a game of 90 minutes and anything is likely to happen. The interesting fixture, <laughs> which uh, I, I will gladly, gladly watch and follow, is the Germany game versus England. <laughs> I think Gareth Southgate there is going to probably, probably, I know the, the English media has always done the best for their own homegrown coaches, and uh, this particular fixture is not very, very easy for him. And the Germans also, also survived at the brink of the last game and it's not easy for them really. It's going to be a very, very interesting. Look at the Belgium Portugal fixture and Robson. <laughs> Portugal <sighs> for me I think when it comes to that game uh, the Portuguese squad uh, inspired by Cristiano Ronaldo uh, <laughs> they are neither here nor there. You know Cristiano Ronaldo 
has that positive influence on the squad but I think of late he hasn't been up to his game and uh, I can only wish them well in that match it's not easy I think um, it will be a very very difficult encounter like I've said the easiest one that I just know which is okay is the Italy game the rest are very very unpredictable but I think Ronaldo hasn't done what we thought he would have done this particular tournament of course he's broken records he's the all-time goal scorer in the Euros but I think that's that's at an individual level. When you look at how Portugal even qualified to this particular knockout stage, it was highly mathematical. They were, I think they qualified as the third best uh, team to, to go through, and it, it, it doesn't be easy, really. Augustine, your concluding remarks in, in less than a minute. Yeah, I think uh, it's been a wonderful show. I would like to thank all the viewers out there that tuned in uh, to make this show possible. I think uh, big thanks to the entire production team which was, has been make, working tirelessly and uh, thanks to all the, everyone who contributed um, in terms of calling, texting and uh, via Zoom. And uh, I must say, it's all roads leads to, to Sunset Stadium, I think. Uh, that's where the big one is, the Lusaka Derby, Red Arrow versus Zanak. But we don't care about that Eden University game, which is at uh, Woodland Stadium. I think the big one is who will represent Zambia. And uh, I just hope Red Arrow is all the best. And uh, it's going to be a chicken counter at Sunset Stadium. But who will fight until the end. Thank All the best to the uh, <laughs> <Ghana> Football <laughs> Club tomorrow. And uh, I think um, the motivation that the squad has at the moment and the positive trajectory that the team has been going through, I, I am seeing a very, very positive result. And the worst case scenario that we are going for there is probably a, a simple draw should be able to be sufficient to <laughs> to 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 get out of that relegation zone because uh, Cabo Warriors versus Indian is not an easy match. Indian might be condemned uh, to Division One football, uh, to National League football if they lose against Cabo Warriors. To Saka Dynamo is also up for that slot in the top four and they are playing young green eagles in Choma and that pitch, that, that young green eagles, I mean the, the independent stadium in Choma is a neutral venue for that fixture and to Saka Dynamo's with all the investment and probably uh, let's pass our condolences to the club proprietor and if Adam lost his father during the course of the week and uh, we only wish Lusaka Dynamos that they will give him the result as a way of thanking him by beating Young Green Eagles. That result will be a good present to Anif Adams, good present to Kana Football Club and the nation at last. <laughs> and I've just like 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 as always it's it's very really sad to say our bar buys but We've come to the end of the show and we just like to give our condolences to everyone who has lost their loved ones either with COVID-19 or not. But stay strong, pray hard and stay safe. Let's follow the five guidelines that we are given. Mask up and maintain social distance. And we've come to the end of the show and a big thanks to the whole entire production team. Isaac, Delia, not forgetting Amazing, who has been directing us from the studios. And stay glued to Camnet TV, which is not just another channel because Amazing Katamanda is coming to your screens with the weekly gospel show. We are out. See you next week, Saturday, same time, same place. Bye-bye.